hey, do you have a dirt bike that's too tall to touch the ground on with your feet? I wanna show you three steps to make it easier for you without even lowering your dirt bike, because that costs money. All right, first tip is getting on the bike. If you have a nice and sturdy kickstand, you can put one foot on and then jump on over the seat. But not all kickstands are super strong. So what I like to do, I grab the handlebar here and then I have to swing, jump and swing my leg over to get over the seat like that. Is that poop? And tip number two is when you're on the seat and you can only touch with a toe is you gotta straddle the bike, you gotta hang off the edge of the seat like this to be able to touch the ground. Uh, this way you can get some leverage on the bike to be able to move it around instead of trying to tippy toe uh, sitting in the middle of the bike. Let me know in the comments below if you started out on a dirt bike that's too tall for you or if you chose a bike and it just happens to be really tall. So when I'm ready to ride, I can go from the left side to the right side and then when I'm starting out I can shift down, that way I get, still got one foot down and then I can start to move until I go in fast enough and then put a foot up on the peg. That's just one quick balance tip. And then when I'm coming to a stop, I can just pull the clutch in, hang off to the side, and then touch the ground with one foot. So it's all about hanging off to the side and uh, just being able to balance quickly, go from one side in the seat to the other to balance. I'm Kelly Fager, and if you wanna learn more tips on riding, uh, go to morecrosshideout.com. Learn more, ride more.